from popzing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. And this time we are looking at a bottle of Big Bear Black Stout from Bear Republic in Hillsburg, California. It is 8.1% ABV. I've had this once before. Um, and, I and it was one of those bottles that I think I always had the intention to review. But it was just one, just one night. I think, I think it was an afternoon watching a film and I thought, that's not too big, I'll, I'll crack that open and, and try it, and I enjoyed it, so it was one of those, well, what, when it appeared again, I thought, I'll buy that and I'll review it this time, because I think it deserves it. So. So, the beer in the glass, pretty much pitch black, quite a nice kind of sheen to it. I'll try and agitate a bit more of a head, I would have expected a bit more head than that. Oh yeah, so give it a swirl, get a nice kind of mid brown kind of mocker looking head a very nice looking style the head not that tight quite quite um thin bubbles um which dissipate quite quickly as well so yeah a good looking stout but you I mean not the creamiest head anyway let's have a sniff lovely lovely i've got i get a kind of like a coal kind of charcoal carbon kind of note to it Burn uh, like a burnt joint of beef. My mum years ago, because my my brother's a chef. Um, years ago, in the in the eighties, when I was growing up, um, I remember my mum burning meat quite often. That Sunday roast getting a bit burned, a bit charred around the edges. Quite liked it, but you mean once once my brother started learning to cook, you mean she learned how to cook cook beef, <laughs> cook a, a giant Sunday roast. Um, the sweetness to it. Like quite like a sweet cola berry, berry cola berry, cola. I don't know. Maybe slight kind of pecan. Yeah, mild coffee, S touch of alcohol. Mm. Maybe like a really concentrated black currant cordial drink. Yeah, there's that kind of charred edge. I think that's the thing that jumps out the most. Anyway, it's a decent smelling beer, so let's dive in and have a taste. So, cheers. Lovely. Lovely. Really nice. I think it performs beautifully, beautifully for its uh, ABV. 8.1. It's not up there with that kind of 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 percent kind of big monster Imperial Stout. So it's not as thick as something like that. It's kind of mid body, mid, in the end, middle kind of like body to it. But it's got all those, um, the notes that you'd expect from a stout. Licorice, I'd say, quite, quite prominent in, in this one. Dry fruits, currants, definitely. More that kind of like harsher, kind of charred element that continues from, from what I noticed on the nose. In the mouth, it does feel, it's got kind of a, the kind of qualities you get from a milk stout. A bit kind of, um, hmm, a bit of a funny one in that sense. Yeah, licorice definitely. Maybe it's a really burnt sugar, like, like a, a homemade cinder toffee, with like a really super dark chocolate. There's a something that kind of reminds me of port in the back end. Um, it is quite. It's got a quite, a, quite a distinct kind of cold black coffee bitterness, which kind of lingers. It's quite nice. It's not. I'm, actually, I'm not as impressed as I remember being. It's just a bit kind of. Middling there. I mean, uh, Old Rasputin from North Coast. Along those lines, it's it's all right, but it's not kind of like ringing any bells. But not every beer can be kind of like ten out of ten. This is just it's good, but not amazing. Yeah, yeah, just okay, just okay. I mean, Bear Republic. I, I feel uh, I think quite highly of. And I remembered liking this a bit more than I, I, I clearly am. Mm. Easy drinking, without a doubt. I'm at 8.1, I think that's a, quite a, a, 
a good quality. But that that black coffee bitterness which lingers is just a bit ah, it's not that pleasant. Shame, really. It's a bit of a shame. I really, I, I'd remember this being much better. I also bought a bottle of Boris, uh, Boris the Crusher from um, um, uh, Hopping Frog. I got it from uh, Beers of Europe recently. They've got a load of new Hopping Frog beers in. And I remember loving that one, so I hope that one's going to live up to my previous experience. Because this is just a fine bit short. Decent, yeah. If I were drinking a cask ale, in the UK, say from my, one of my local breweries, Salamander, do a lot of dark beers. Salamander, not a great brewery. They can do a decent stout. I could compare this to their kind of black coal stout or something like that. It's just, it's fine. It's got a real kind of arid, kind of black malt character. Um, it's just nothing special. Yeah, if it was a 4.8% cask ale, I'd be quite happy with it. It's an 8.1% bottled beer from America. It's just not doing the job. So yeah, don't don't rush out to get it. It's fine if you if you buy it, you'll probably enjoy it. But it's not gonna okay, it's not gonna win any awards. It's just a bit. It's okay. So that's a black big bear black stout. I think I got the name wrong first time round. What a dick <laughs> from Bear Republic in Hellsburg, California. It's okay. So I've actually just come upstairs. Um, I'm making my wife some tea, she's just on her way home from work. Um, brought this bottle of um, Big Bear Black Stout from Bear Republic upstairs. I'm just kind of sipping away, I'm watching Greg from Greg's Beer Reviews <laughs> doing his review of it. I'm just kind of sipping on it. I think it's warmed up and it's a bit nicer actually. I don't think the flavours have changed massively. Still that kind of burnt, kind of charcoal -y edge, but for me, that kind of the bitter aftertaste has dissipated, and it's and it's improved, become a little bit sweeter, and a little bit more, um, a bit softer as well, a bit more palatable. Nice. So I'm going to just sit here while while the pasta cooks. <laughs> And um, watch, uh, drink a lot with Greg. Really, I mean, I don't do this very often, but I thought, let's see what somebody else thinks of it because I won't fall in love with it. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of like have a this brief reprise actually, just to say um, it's not as bad as I thought in my, my review. I think we might have just been a little bit cold. It's warming up and it's and it's improving. So yeah, I'm Rob. He's Greg. Let's see, the, let's see what's in the fridge. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> And keep sipping this. It's not bad. But once again, it's not amazing, but yeah, I'm going to change my mind. Buy it, try it. That's what Terry, K Terry K would say. So yeah, it's not bad. So yeah. Big Bear, Blackstown, Bear Republic. Not as bad as I said. Cheers.